Let's see. Now that should be working, right? Uh. <laughs> oh, the black is blacker than the background? Hmm. Well, the, the audio might be higher quality than you expect. Uh. Somehow. This is somehow plugging in my uh, my new microphone last stream managed to break my old headset. I, I don't know how that works. Like in the game character and background are different. Uh, you're right. There we go. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that. Now it's the same. But yeah, good morning, uh, Noodles and Ayu. Uh, well, welcome to some World of Horror. But yeah, let, let me know if the any of the audio is too low on the microphone or anything. Nice, nice, nice. Every everything seems to be working fine, other than the fact that uh, it doesn't want to it doesn't want to be able to select my proper audio. And by proper audio, I mean shitty Walmart headset as opposed to <laughs> uh, actual microphone. Yeah. Wait. Oh, did I already select this? Oh, whoops. Is this game loot? As loot as you may. Wait. What? Did I click random? Oh, sh sh frick. Dead already. I, I feel like I clicked random. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. No, I swear. <laughs> Uh, now I gotta turn the audio back up. There we go. <laughs> uh, ah, I hit quick play. My my bad. I want to do time line B. It's in the clip. <laughs> we don't talk about that. No. <laughs> uh, right. Quick randomize seed just for fun. <laughs> no, 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 no. See two half naked women in the intro? Hmm. No. You can't do that. Let's see. <laughs> oh no, there's an idol. Can't do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who, who haven't I played as? I I don't think I've even bothered with Ira. Uh, there we go. Timeline B. Oh, frick. No, 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 settings are good. Settings are good. Settings are good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. And I hope the audio is all right. Uh, hmm. Now let's see. Spider. Um. I'll I'll take Etho too. So damage is increased on both parties. <laughs> yeah. I this is a good video game. Yeah, it's a little confusing if you don't know what's going on. It's, some of the UI is a bit much. Uh, I, I can't wait for it to get updated again. Let's see. I think these are usually the best options for those. Hmm. Wait. Let me check something. Oof. 
Hopefully that didn't sound too bad. But yeah, if, if you're new to this, here's, here's the hot tips. Open the drawer. Wait, what? Oh, a spell. Uh, this character starts with a spell. Which happens to be... Uh, kind of... kind of trash. Most spells are trash. Ah, oh, there was nothing in the drawer. And that is bad luck. <laughs> so, I get... It. So, here's all the outfits. What's fun? F and D is funds. That's your money. So, we'll, we'll be taking the, the Halloween outfit. Because, why wouldn't we? I think you can also click this for one more fund. Brings us up to five. It's a nice movie poster. <laughs> but yeah, timeline B, you can select these. <laughs> Sheet Robertsons. The <laughs> uh, uh oh, uh oh. Take a bear. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take XP. So here's the here's the main part of the video game. You get to choose five of the uh, five of many, one of five of many mysteries. So these are like your missions. Hmm. This is timeline B though, so these are a little bit different than they would normally be. Timeline B is Halloween mode. Uh, <laughs> even Bag manages to pick the only thing to cover himself with. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Moonlight Sailors. The side quest for that is discard some items. Abnormal Arms has a very different ending. There's a, there's a boss fight instead of whatever and you don't get the, the key. Mermaids. I don't remember. Homa is the same. And Eels is the same. E Eels is always the best to start out with because you get Kana. Right, uh, I need a little bit of tea so I can manage to read all of this. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around, it's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish. You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious what weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. So, I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find at this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please. So, since we were asked politely, we kind of have to. <laughs> But, as a party member, a good morning, Bone Miser. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to some World of Horror. Some nice, slow, text-reading action. <laughs> With uh, enough Junji Ito references to fill a whole fucking game. <laughs> so, Hana, minus one damage received during combat, which is uh, very, very, very nice. Yeah, 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 what's up? <laughs> yeah, I, I... I discovered it slightly after the Halloween update and burnt myself out on it. And... <laughs> there hasn't been an update since. So, so here's, here's the main, uh... the main gameplay loop. So, the circled location is where you have to go for the main quest. But there's also a side quest for each mystery. Which gives you the uh, the option for the better ending, usually. Yeah, al almost always. But yeah. Uh, no, 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 let's see. Oh yeah. Also, the other main mechanic is doom. Uh, you you lose if your stamina or reason go down to zero, and you also lose if your doom goes up to one hundred percent. And Doom is a much harder stat to lower than it is to get Reason or Stamina back. 
Yeah. It, it, it is very much... Ooh. Going into it and learning what is the, the best option in each event is interesting. But yeah. Uh, I, I want to go here first. item I want is not here. <laughs> this one's a little bit funky. You, you use it, you take a bunch of damage, but you get plus one perception. <laughs> you, you insert the glass eye. Uh, I'm gonna do something I normally wouldn't, which is re-roll. So that cost us four doom to enter. Maybe I'll try out the, uh, small candle. I, ne I, ne I never really used, uh, many weapons other than strength decks. So... It, every weapon has a stat. There's no charisma weapon, but... And no fun weapon either. Or luck. But... So... The magic one-handed... Who cares? Damage, speed, and chance to hit will make sense. Made from corpse wax. Oh no. <laughs> so. Uh, we'll, we'll get to see combat eventually. So. Uh, I believe... Okay, so here, here's the thing. There, there's that side quest there. I think almost every single... Okay, wait. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to talk about our real lord and savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? So... Yeah, the, this is the, the main gameplay loop is make decisions. Uh, good morning, Pig. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take the Halloween costume. <laughs> uh, all, all the Halloween costumes are great. Okay. You learned some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man has said was the truth, humanity is doomed. So minus 5% doom is really big, but minus 3 reason is kinda bad. But it's, defi it's definitely worth it. Okay, yeah, I, I don't remember if that's chance based. But yeah, every time you do the main investigation, the, the next text appears. Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. So yeah, Con Connor's a... Connor's a, a delinquent. Getting access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make her go away for a while. Charisma check success. So, every, every stat check is a, a d12 roll under the- uh, I think- Yeah, I think this is a plus one from threat level or something. Well, something weird like that. Wh whatever. So anyways, we rolled under our charisma stat. Unannounced inspection, she asks. Thank you for telling me. While the receptionist is busy updating some boring papers, you copy some names and addresses from the database. Wait, how do you show the stats? <laughs> it's, it's in the options. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff like that. That's like extra math or something. The neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one jar home. Big number good, small, small number bad. That is correct, and, uh, you know, that's simply correct. <laughs> have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky, don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? But yeah, I think almost every location, or every side quest, that ha or a quest that has the seaside investigation side quest, it takes you there once on the main quest. Except for one. I don't remember which one, and I always think about it every time I play. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. You know, good morning, Egos. It, yeah, I've had it. I just don't have a mic stand, but I I, I guess it's the right distance away. I'm le leaning from forward a little bit. 
our numbers are beyond the one or ten to twelve are diminishing returns. Uh, well, I mean, you also get better stats on your on your weapons. But yeah, yeah, kinda. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. Twisted corpse. Ah, uh, this is a ghost. So, uh, we won't be able to look at the, the battle mechanics. But, the, the even more complicated uh, spirit battle mechanics. And by more complicated, I mean it's just mastermind. So, a combination of five thousand claps, and it tells you how many you get correct. <laughs> yeah. Shut up on the mic. Okay. You were correct. So, if it goes up, that means the last one is a bow. If it goes down, that means the last one was a clap. That's it. <laughs> one. So, the last one's a clap. Oh, three. So, second to last is a bow. And riveting. Now, four. So, the, the last three are bow, bow, clap. And this is a. Uh, the, this uh, bow and clap sequence is for the whole run. So. Yes. C, triple B, C. Now. Seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go and check it out. Is this eel even alive? Spooky. Vending machine. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of soda inside, but you could really use a drink. Uh... I believe cheapest one is a gamble, and the expensive one is just minus one funds. Yeah, the taste seems a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyways. But one of the things though is, when you hit zero funds, there's an event that's more common than you'd like, where a dude basically comes up to you and says, Hey, I'll give you money. What do you? <laughs> what's the price? And then you either you either decide to lose some stamina, reason, or increase the doom. Connor was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. So, burnt notes. A legend from the. Prefecture tells of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. Spooky. We, we can just put that in storage. Game has two prostitutions. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> you monster. Uh. No, 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 no. Mail day. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Eh, I'll read them. Staying up late investigating the current case has really increased your electricity bill. Minus two funds. We're broke. Ah, uh, see what I mean? So this, the main investigation takes me to the seaside on this one. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. You shrug non-committally. You just wish you could throw this damn jar in the trash. Uh-oh. The figurine. <laughs> but yeah, here's the... So here's an important mechanic is at, at your home, you can rest. Which gives you plus 3% doom, but it gives you plus 2 stamina and reason back. There's not really any equivalent in the other direction. So if you start losing... Uh, if you get way too much doom, there's no real way to reduce it, other than 
just not increase your doom in the first place. But yeah, it goes up by one whenever you investigate a location. So you can't just completely avoid it. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. Minus two reason. Eric. <laughs> Thinking about how stupid it is of Connor to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? Now let's take another peek in the uh, seaside. Ocean is hungry. You're stopped by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. It wants me, but I'm afraid. I'm too much of a coward to do it myself. Can you help me? Uh, charisma check failure. Ah, shit. Unable to convince the person, you close your eyes as they jump off the cliff. Oh no, and the side quest gives me minus one reason. You may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Minus one reason. So, we've got like one investigation to uh to fix this okay we're good <laughs> uh and the difficulty settings you can change it so that it's an insta kill if you ever go down to zero in a chat uh, in a stat but the default is uh it, you survive for a little bit let me let me check here again <laughs> here we go holy candle I did buy that, right? Where'd it go? Oh, no funds. Oh, frick. I, I just gave myself extra doom for no reason. Well, uh, that's what happens. <laughs> you catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Take a peek, horrified. You gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Thankfully, it's only physically sick, because I, I can't handle more, minus reason. Kana has been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Uh, what, what happens if I go down? I, kn I know I'm going to lose a bunch of reason for what I'm about to do. But if I don't die immediately, it's 100% worth it. So, you finally find Kana. Uh, I found the neighbor, but when his eye burst, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now, too. Puncture her eyes now. Uh-oh. You ever played Dead Space 2 before? <laughs> ah. Shock. You see countless tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. Will she even survive the blood loss? You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater, and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. Wake up, dude. You've been asleep for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes to see your friend. Kana is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? I couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened, and I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anytime soon. But thank you for saving my life. So if you don't do that, uh, she'll just die instead. But if you do that, you get a keeper as a follower. Minus one damage received during combat is a huge bonus. You still process the events of a, of a previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eyes and egg, or their <laughs> eggs and eyes. Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. And that's ending A, which is the, the best one you can get. So after completing a mystery, you get a, a little random debuff. Most of them are kind of lame. It doesn't really matter. The Arcane Storm. Uh, local scientists are baffled. Unprecedented aura, uh, aurora-like event has bathed the entire town in an unnatural green glow. So we've got the Aurora Borealis localized entirely within this uh, section of Japan. Reason cost of all spells is increased by one. Who cares? Oh. Uh, let's see if I don't die by the time I get home. So, the obvious solution is... Take a bath. And... Hold bath. 
there we go. We're, we're back up to one reason. Uh, good thing I never bothered to cast the spell. Now, now the the interesting thing is you can forget spells to get one reason, which I I will do. <laughs> uh, now, see, everything else is correct. <laughs> when in doubt, take a bath. I I, <laughs> I think uh, I think taking a bath should be a, a regular thing. <laughs> uh, now, let's see. Hmm. Mermaids. That has a boss fight. Abnormal arms boss fight. Sailors. I have to discard for the. I'll, I'll try the coma. And there we go. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People try to wake the patients up. Or people trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into a coma themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people, and how did this strange illness start? But yeah, no, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I don't think you should take a bath when in doubt. I think you should take a bath every day. Now shower every day. Ba baths are a bit too much. Too much commitment for something that could be done better with a shower. Alright. Let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. But yeah, I, I guess he hit the nail on the head. I guess only bathe when in doubt. Otherwise, just shower. Alright. Uh, I don't think the main quest takes us to the village. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out later. Gym doll. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped against the wall. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement t causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Minus two reason. Uh. Oh, and, uh... That was correct. Uh... That happened at the wrong enough time to kill us. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind has been has snapped, and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane, that no old god is awakening to devour humanity, but the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. So, good, <laughs> goodbye, uh, not the e-ghost. <laughs> uh, ah... Uh, and now all of my settings are are back. And there we go. Let's see. How might be customized playthrough? Okay. Let's just pick an easy character. Kira doesn't really do anything at all. Uh, I don't remember if any of her perks are good. We, we didn't even get to see the level up screen. Yeah. Plus knowledge, minus strength. Starts with one random spell. The spells are the spells are kind of garbage. No. Now, Ico. Now that's now that's the real stuff right there. Combat speed bonus, and a, I think one of her perks is another combat speed bonus, which is just really good. So let me double check timeline B. Let's go. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll take Kathak Akurasu, the spider. Terrible spider god Kathak Akurasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon of prison. Stop it before it devours us all. So, not being able to run from combat just means you gotta go hard. And I would like an occult shop. And I would like a monument. I, I just go with that normally. Yeah, it's worked out well enough. But, here's, here's the reason. Me. <laughs> the, the best outfit. 10 out of 10. So, 
grab one fun from the figurine. And... No. no nothing, nothing in the drawer. Damn. That's not what you want to see. So, arms... Violent versus... Er, yeah, Violent Vigil. School Scissors. Blue Knight Sailors. And Eels. Well, we're doing Eels again. Although, this time, I will take it very quickly. Uh, but... Let's see. There we go, Holy Candle. Uh, hopefully I'll get to show off why it's so good. So not only does it give you plus one luck while it's in your inventory, and a luck is also a, is, is just a hidden stat. But it is exactly the same. There are a few luck checks, but it is exactly the same as all these other stats. There's no weapons that use it, and it just doesn't tell you. Uh, you can use it to gain two reason whenever you want, but there are a handful, I think like, either two or three events that give you an extra option if you have the holy candle and they all reduce doom which is very good uh, go to the hardware store hmm. no. what do i want uh, a crowbar might be good it's a good enough going straight down to uh, the no items or no money spending it all on uh, on weaponry so just take it fast while looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend you discover a half finished painting of a woman her skin a ghastly pale yellow color Intimidated by the unsettling painting, you're haunted by nightmares. Minus two reason. So yeah, the, the reason we lost the... <laughs> the reason. Uh, the reason we lost the last run was because uh, it might have been a better option to just run away from that ghost encounter. Uh, especially when it was doing that much reason damage. There was a hole here. Oh, that's a Silent Hill reference. You're in an eerie sound coming from behind the door. You decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Uh... I'd assume studying the writing could give you a spell. And it's probably a knowledge check, so that's lame. Picking up the book, I don't know, and lighting the candles. I no. Pick up the book. Ooh, you recognize the sticker on the book. It came from the local library. Yeah. Book. Uh, I can use it to deal 8 damage to human enemies, but it adds a new status, which I assume is bad for us. Now we can just sell it for money. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'll keep it around. Because I'm at zero funds. Oh, I might want to also use that for uh, one of the discard side quests. We'll see. Uh, suddenly, it got really cold in the corridor. As you turn to leave, you're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. He kisses the air and takes a step closer. Yeah, this is the, the simp. So now we get to actually see combat. See, 20 HP, 70% uh, chance to hit, uh, that's 12 damage if I hit with all, 12 damage if I hit with all, yeah, uh, well, what, 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 can I, can I mix them up? Uh, I would have... 30 time left over. So each action takes an amount of time. You can see that over here when I hover over it. But the, the important thing is the chance to hit. 
and however much extra time you have left because you got prepare your attack. This is default. This is this is this is vanilla. <laughs> this isn't one of those mods. So it, it takes 10, 10 time to give a can give an attack ten percent extra chance to hit, or you can spend thirty. You never saw this guy. They, they did not play that much. <laughs> yeah, I believe the best option is just get two of these in. Should be better chances than uh mate. Yeah. All right, now he's down to eight HP. So, uh, do I have? Yeah, let's go. So, when you do math, you win. Okay. So, I can prepare an attack and do a, a regular attack for four damage, and it's exactly 100 time. And he's at eight HP, so I can fit two of them in. Easy. Gigolo has been defeated. <laughs> the, we won. The, yeah, this is the guy. Out of funds. It's a bad time to be out of cash. This is the grim looking man who's standing in your way. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like your- wait. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like yours and will gladly help you get back on track. After all, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> He takes a step closer, and you can swear there's a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. Uh, there's my G-Man voice. <laughs> uh, so, Jar of Blood, Stamina, Fondest Memory, uh, Reason, Peace of Mind, Doom. So, since we're very, uh, stamina-icious. <laughs> uh, you startle awake on a park bench. Did you faint? There's no sign of the grim man anywhere, but you find an envelope full of cash in your, inside of your pocket. Inside in your pocket? Yo, we did it. Another typo. Let's go. <laughs> so, minus three stamina for two funds. Alright. Uh, I can put the notes away. Th these don't do anything, really. It, it just goes in your inventory. You can't even discard it for, for side quests or anything. It's a bit, it's a bit of a nuisance, but that's how it be. Visitor. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. So, get closer, and I think that's a dex check, and call the police. Uh, I don't know. There we go. This. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens, and an unknown invader, invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple of minutes, the man retreats, probably unsure if you're home after all. Uh, we got XP. Yeah. If you if you manage to dodge creeps at your door, you become more experienced in the ways of the world. And an eldritch statuette. Something pulls you towards the beach. A statuette, half buried in the sand, is calling you. Feeling your hand shaking, you take a step closer. Uh, I don't remember how this one goes, but this option is selectable. It doesn't look too much like it, but you can select ignore. So, hmm. Uh, I don't remember which one's the better option. I'll take the funny one. <laughs> the statuette is surprisingly heavier than it looks. Mesmerized, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know if it even does anything. But let's go to Seaside once more for the side quest. Crab feast. Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse, carried to the beach by waves. Uh, let's check. <laughs> Inside the man's pocket, you find documents. They're all strangely dry. Did the man really drown here, or was he brought here? Uh, don't don't check corpse crabs in real life. <laughs> Quest for the big crab. <laughs> uh, yeah, no one, no one here was there. Mm. <laughs> uh, 
smog. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window to take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. So, observing the smog is uh, perception or something. Running is dex. Ah. You run from the window. Faint whispers coming from the smog itself will haunt you for there. Uh, haunt you for weeks. Oh, it doesn't even break or anything. But yeah, my, minus reason. <laughs> and here we are, back to the Dead Space 2 eye poke machine. Uh, manual edition. Yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10. the best option. Now... Oh dear lord. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess you weren't here for that one. <laughs> uh, there's something wrong with tap water. It is black and oily and glistening. Smelling like death. You hope it's just a temporary issue. That's what, this one's one of the worst ones. So, you can't regain health in between mysteries. So... Now, now is the time to doubt the bath. Because... It's all nonsense. Oof. Spooky. They still didn't fix the water problem. It is black and oily and glistening. There's no way you're going to wash yourself in that. So, use bottled water. You still take a bath, don't worry. But it's just not as, uh, not as good as it should be. And by that, you, you, don't, you don't get any stats back. Getting that, getting that as the first one sucks. So, let's see. School scissors is something. Uh, that's best saved for last. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll do Violent Vigil. I'm arguably worst RNG, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's very arguable. It's it's probably just the worst RNG. It, well, it's not that uncommon though, so it, it's it's a common occurrence of terrible luck. You've received an official-looking letter. What's a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There's an address on the list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? Uh, well, we're about to experience the worst thing that could happen. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but... Where is everybody? No. This is a little bit different from the usual style, where instead you're investigating only the mansion with some weird stuff in between. It looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare some to look through the books. Uh, I don't remember how these go. I know you don't have time for this, it's just a pass. Under the table. Ah, knowledge check. The notes lying on the table look like the ramblings of a madman. While trying to understand them, you read a passage out loud. Nothing happens, but you you suddenly feel watched. You leave the reading room quickly. Plus three percent doom is not nice. It takes you some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on in here. So oh. This one's a little bit weird. You've got little locations and interactions in the location. So, Akane, young heiress. Young woman wrinkles her nose when she notices you. You can, yeah, you can swear you've seen the symbol engraved on her neck before. You want to pay respects to that old creep. Follow the corridor to the right. That just means investigate. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. 
Ah, good morning, Syrup. <laughs> Welcome to the world of horror. <laughs> uh, hate that mission. Uh, this whole one? This, this one's not that bad. Uh, now, let's see. Study should be knowledge check. Mm, retreat might be dex, and this might be, like, charisma. Ah, retreating is just, uh, just minus reason. You leave the strange room as the stone slowly disappears underground. Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your granduncle to just lie here. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know. Yeah, do doing the, uh, doing the ending A route is simple enough. Sotomura, scarred thug. A muscular man is eyeing you as you take a step towards him. You can't help but notice a deep scar going across his cheek. This pamphlet? Take mine. I don't plan on following it anyways. So, this is the important pieces for this. Uh, let's see. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Okay, <laughs> while to realize it's supposed to stand up. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. Spoilers. <laughs> no, you do get it correct. Uh, actually, I don't know what happens if you. I, th I think he, I think he he walks away anyways. So clap, clap, bow, clap. Ah, and look at the toes. <laughs> clap, clap, bow. I think you got the order right. Now, I'm gonna just waste time. But yeah, no, no, no. It's a, it's a tiny bit complicated. Uh, whatever. Suddenly, a wall in front of you withers and falls apart, revealing a hole-ridden monstrosity. A hole-ridden thing. Hmm. So, hmm. my stats haven't increased yet. Uh, oh shit only a 40% chance to hit. So, the best course of action would be... Yeah, it's a guaranteed 8 damage per turn. So that would be 3 turns, and... So you can click this to save the combat sequence, so you can just click the load button. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this game that, like... It, you wouldn't really know unless you know. You know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the mathematics check out. Oh yeah, and we can't run away because I chose the, uh, the spider god. Now, we finally gained a level this far into the stream. <laughs> After that first run. Uh, mirror god is easy mode? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think he's got a couple nasty events. Uh, so, we get to choose a perk and a stat to increase. And you can't increase luck. But... I think we want to go for strength for our crowbar. Uh, also, you can... In, in, instead of adding one to a stat, you can gain a bonus to one of your, your health stats. Hmm. Heart knowledge. Hot bath. Doorsman. Uh, I'm gonna do something I don't normally do and re-roll the perks. Yo, there we go. Fast swimmer. This is the this is the reason why why Aiko is the best character. So she already has a, a an attack speed buff. And then this gets her another attack speed buff. Yeah, faster combat is really, really good. Really, really good. So now, and putting one more point into strength, and her weapon is strength based. We'll see. Uh, we'll see a, an incredible improvement in how many attacks we can get in a turn. Probably. We'll see. 
so all family members are cautiously eyeing the smelly dishes placed on a table in the corner of the room. The guests seem strangely uninterested in this vigil. You should explore more and learn what you can. Uh oh. Pray over the modest supper is on the on the pamphlet. The smell is nauseating, but you managed to put some meat on your plate. <laughs> Long pig steak. Smells incredible. Uh, I'll put that in storage. So, it may look like we've got six inventory slots. But, these two are actually grayed out. Just barely. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, yeah. It's sometimes, like, in the near the end of the run, it is a good idea to take bonus reason or stamina. Actually, sometimes it's a good idea early, I guess, too. Uh oh. Oh yeah, it's not the time yet. 11 p.m. pamphlet says. Yep, supper. So, next hour, we check. Eyes in the dark. You feel watched. So, this is one of the events for the Holy Candle. Minus 3% doom. Oh yeah. You light up the Holy Candles, purifying the room. And it doesn't even use them up or anything. No, just having holy candles in your inventory, that's like, as soon as possible, is always great. There's at least one or two other events that it's like the exact same thing. It's midnight. You should go and pray. So, uh, the body is missing. Where is everybody? Tube, like. There's nobody here! Alright, so... Now we've got two free hours, and then burn an envelope found in the study. Hmm, I think that one's minus reason. Well... Tower window. The round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare into the bright light. Ah... Uh, so, this will take us to the other world. Uh, there's a handful of different other world event cards like this, and most of them are very bad. Uh, hmm. But. But. So, so the, the thing about this one is fight this feeling is, uh, I don't know what check it is. I think it's either like charisma or dex or something. And if you succeed, you don't have to go to the other world, but if you fail, you get, like, minus reason, and you go there, and getting lost in light will give you plus reason? Yeah. But you go there anyways. So, the blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you can't feel the ground under your feet. You prepare yourself for whatever is coming. Uh, there's a chance we get the, uh, the best weapon in the game. Other world is good if, if you can fish for a run defining weapon. Oh yeah, let's let's see, let's see, let's see. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the lake. Ooh, nah, no, this is uh, damn. The temperature abruptly drops, and you shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Uh, I think checking the coast gives you a chance to get a ring. Moving towards the pyramid is like... Uh, I don't remember what you get. Maybe like a spell or... Not something weird. Uh, give up, I, I don't remember. Either way, you always get like a some sort of debuff from this. It's it's not fun. Eh, strength check. Also, these are all at some... I don't know how big the disadvantage is, but it's a disadvantage. The frozen guard corpses watch you silently as you cut yourself on the razor-sharp edges of ice. Plus injury. The artery. Minus one stamina after each investigation. That's... Oh, fuck. <laughs> and frostbite just from showing up here. Minus two strength. Ah, shit. 
<laughs> Each investigation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, well, this is not many, this, this is not that much to do. 1 a.m., nothing. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll see. It's the most powerful weapon to go ahead. Now it's a katana. It's just a straight up, just a katana. <laughs> and it's like the best. What is that? Go ahead. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that would make a lot of sense. Uh, young woman wrinkles her nose when she notices you. you oh wait, no, I already said this. <laughs> Let's not pretend like we want to be here. So, 1 a.m., nothing on the schedule. Uh, if you can get and keep the homely playing through our the root mystery. Yeah, no, because that requires like three different mysteries or two different mysteries. But yeah, nah. E even without the build, it's pretty good. So, Cursed Grimoire. Yeah, nah, it's, it's just really rare. As Same with the katana, but you can get the katana in any run. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old lock cabinet. When you remove the book's wrapping, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Cool, free book. Grabbing a book, you cut yourself on a rusty nail driven through the cover. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Just that, just a regular library book. Uh, I'll use it. Uh, let's see. Torn muscle. Minus one damage in combat. And that, no, we just tore it, we just tore a muscle. <laughs> From a nail. Uh, and now uh, it gives you a random injury, so there's funny results, like, a, a broken jaw or something. I, I believe that happened last time. Yeah, corridors twist and turn, trapping you in this mansion. You think you can hear the other guests somewhere, but should you risk getting lost yourself? Uh, yeah, we're, we're not doing too hot. Uh, 2 a.m. Burn an envelope. Yeah, the study. It seems that someone has already removed all the furniture from this room. The overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. Mm, that's one reason. It takes some time, but you finally find an envelope. Following the instruction, you burn it without opening. You feel weird following obscure orders. Damn <laughs> uh, Body is still missing, as always. Let's take a take a stroll. Cadaver theater. Corpses are strung up on wire, like macabre marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Yeah, just my two reason. I break. <laughs> the other guest is now safe with you. The whole building cracks and moves. You're scared of what will come next. Over the mirror in the storage room. I don't think I need to go there. I believe it's just minus reason. No, it's it's just the. Uh, uh, it's just spooky. <laughs> Alright. You were startled when you discovered that headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room and laughing. Animated head. Uh huh. Minus one reason for damage as well. Well, we can't. We can't, uh. Can't run away. Hmm. So only three damage. Or five damage. I mean, I could go for the, uh... For the luck. And th there's only one way to get 11 damage. Which would be... Well, how many kicks can I get in, actually? One damage, uh, because of the injury. Hmm. <laughs> so this is what? Uh, like, 1 in 8 chance of killing this turn. Hmm. Go for it. Ah, fuck. That would've been sick. Uh, I can guarantee a hit. And guarantee a hit. And then... Yeah. I don't know. I can't even throw in a kick. Damn. So, this will be a 2 turn kill. A good thing I've got the holy candle for extra reason. Hmm. 
down for two reason is not fun. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. Uh, walls of the quarter collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages slowly get closer. Uh, black hair. Okay, yeah, this combines with the sewing kit to make a an incredible healing item. But, y you need the sewing kit. So, just, just a bad way. Uh -huh. A voice in your head tells you what to do. Mm, sacrifice the guests or carve the cursed symbol. Uh, ugh. I think this might give you a minus reason. Hmm. Uh, an unseen force leads your hands. You reach for a knife and stab a surprised guest. Yeah, let's, let's take a, the bad ending, just so I don't have to do the boss fight. I don't remember if he does minus reason damage. He probably does minus all. And same as there. Include the ritual. The price is paid. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass. The old mansion, nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize the tattoo on the man's toe. It's your deceased granduncle. <laughs> yeah, it's plus doom, but yeah, nah. Easy way out. Who cares if I'm, who cares if I'm the, the bad guy? With a coarse voice, he explains the ritual. You try to keep up with him, but you're weak and your head, spin your head spins. The death toll must remain the same. Two die and two survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man who has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. Uh, how do we know what the tat toe tattoo looks like? Because uh, I, I wrote it down. <laughs> uh, it's, it's in the options when you uh, when you first do the bows and claps. To, to write it down in the pamphlet. It, it made sense, I swear. <laughs> uh, the man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death making you an accessory to murders. You know police officers won't believe you when they tell when you tell them the truth and do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. Uh, was ending C. So, normally you'd get a little bit m more minus doom if you do the quote unquote correct ending. Uh, cut off from the outside world. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the radio mast failure. This, this one doesn't really do anything. That's, that's good RNG. Easy enough. I think it straight up does nothing other than makes the, the TV static. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, no, if you see a dead body with a toe tattoo that looks like an occult symbol, writing it down's okay, I think. <laughs> Uh, wait. Take a bath, just in case. <laughs> uh, so, arms, school scissors, and moonlight sailors. I'll go, I'll go with the sailors. It began with one fisherman, who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. A dark, writhing ooze that mesmerized them beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it. Not to be seen until one moonlit night, when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away. A single lantern swinging at the helm, and the captivated, captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now, more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile oozes in their nets, and one by one they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. So, discard two items to complete this quest. Start your investigation, hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. Uh, let's let's take a rest first, just to get a little bit more reason back. Uh, 17's max stamina. Uh, hmm, I want more funds. Let's look at item storage. Hmm. I 
think I will discard this for the side quest. Long pig steak, uh, I could sell that. Or I could sell the, the tome. Or discard the tome. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll discard the tome. You couldn't find the nets and hooks prepared for the big hunt. What you did find was a huge bonfire in the middle of the beach. You take a burning branch, lighting your way with you. So we get a torch. Uh, it's a perception weapon. Uh, I believe it has the same stats as the crowbar. Yeah. But it also counts as a light source, for when that matters. And it is used in the, uh, the little ending segment. Uh, let's see. I wanted to go to the doctors. Wait patiently in the reception area. You still have some time before you're asked to the office. So, showing up to the doctor's office gives you some doom. And, let's you, uh... So yeah, additional actions available on the injury cards. Uh, two funds for that. Two funds for that. One fund for that, okay. So, I can heal my cut artery. Hasty aid. When receiving a combat stamina wound, replace hasty aid with a new random injury. Alright. So, not only does it cost money, but you get a random replacement, usually. Oh, I need to sell something. Goodbye, long pig steak. I hardly knew ya. There we go. Frostbite. Hasty aid is what money. Uh, that's how it would be. <laughs> uh, I think there's one or two that are plus XP. And more than a few that are just nothing. I, I just got unlucky. Well, that's, that's how it would be. Uh, out of funds. Uh, take some blood. We've already read through this one. But now I've got more money. Uh, I'll go back to the hospital once I start getting more injuries, just so I can make a, make a decision on which ones I want to, uh, to go through. Although you braved the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit? Here we go. Gruesome altar. Seeing two, head, uh, two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Uh, um, call the police might be good. Ooh, charisma check. At the nearest Koban, you, discover, or you tell the officer about your gruesome discovery. The old policeman is grateful and gives you a small reward before disappearing inside to make a call. We got money from that. Nice. Pay, pay for our treatment. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. Seamstress story. Ah, frick. I, 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 I tossed out the black hair. Ugh. This is the event. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guest together her final gruesome artwork that's just a legend right and check the sewing machine Ooh, spooky i found you at last uh i guess i guess it is only a chance or maybe it's checking the ah oh, whatever uh, it doesn't matter we didn't get the sewing kit but that's the so you get the sewing kit that you combine with the black hair there and yeah the fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered with black marks. Yeah, yeah, a rip. <laughs> uh, so normally you can use that uh, recover four stamina, but you get minus one charisma. So so you, you just like patch yourself up, kind of, kind of shoddily. The investigation is starting to take a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Plus four percent doom. Yeah. Surely someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around, hoping to spot one of them. Hmm, but yeah. That's what happens. 
Uh-oh. Suddenly the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Uh, strength check. The sudden blizzard disappears as fast as it began. You leave the beach quickly. XP. We're almost to the next level. Nice. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies between caressing his catch. The beating movements in his arms disturb you. Uh, now what? Ocean is hungry. Uh, uh, I, th I think let letting them kill themselves is a minus reason. Uh, unable to convince the person. Close their eyes. Eh. And after a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. Uh, I'll, I'll take a rest. I, I don't want to bump into the stamina cap, because then I'm just wasting doom, I guess. I'm at like, almost 50% with, uh, about 50% completion, so that's on pace. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. How it be. Cool air suddenly fills your mouth. It tastes metallic. Before you can react, you hear a low growling sound coming from behind you. <laughs> uh, let's see how uh, we can get the uh, four attacks in. 75% uh, chance, 12 HP, or. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this could kill it this turn. There we go. So I think either way, that would have taken two turns. Uh, we just had the the risk of missing with every single attack. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I could have min maxed that better. You slip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified of what comes next. Discipline. Regain one stamina for all past event skill checks. That's really good. But we have not had any problem with stamina at all. But we could get that that uh, that injury again. Hmm. Folklore studies. I don't need knowledge. Hot bath is useless because we. Well, no, it isn't. I I think it. The regular rest action is affected, which is good. Uh, hmm. I think discipline's probably too good not to take. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I'll take I'll take full play studies. And yeah, one more point in strength. Although. This is a good a good point to uh, start taking uh, reason regain. Uh, yeah, so let's finish this mystery. The beach. The full moon shines brightly or bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. The whole section of the beach is black with ooze, slowly engulfing the bodies of the missing sailors. Right in the middle of it stands a lone figure. When he spots you, the ooze stops undulating for a second before rapidly moving towards you, leaving the half-eaten corpses behind. Throw the torch. You throw the torch towards the figure, and the ooze instantly ignites, quickly turning the whole beach into a burning nightmare, devouring both the black substance and the corpses. The noxious fume f fumes force you to retreat and find cover. It was definitely a close call, too close for your liking. You are sure the newspapers will report on the goo, now dried up and looking just like volcanic ash tomorrow. Tonight, however, all you're thinking about is a hot bath. Uh, so yeah. 
and Dean C for that one is the timeline, the best ending, whatever. Store closed. Friendly dog disappeared last night. You will have to find a new place to buy equipment. I didn't even show up at the dog store. Hmm. But yeah, there's a dog. Uh, there's a store operated by a dog. It's, uh, it's whatever. There's some good items there. You get like the, the compass and the map are good picks. Uh, little scissors, I want to save for last. Went to the dog store, you want anything? Can I get a. a dog? <laughs> Alarming account of abnormal arms. I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found, and the department remained vacant. <laughs> Fuck story. The door to her apartment was closed, and she lived alone. What other ways in are there? Maybe you can get the apartment plan to, to compare with other flats. There we go. Good morning, Karagi. My <laughs> second business. Uh, I mean... It's not that far away from Australia, is it? They does not sell dog. No, they sell two dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. You're, pres you're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful? I think inviting for coffee will give me a reason back, but maybe add Zoom or something? Ah, minus funds. In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. Could this be the reason for recent horrific events? Eh. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, the apartment is on the third floor. There is no way somebody used the window to escape the murder scene. Uh, I don't remember. I think this quest does not take us to the hospital at all, so we'll have to take those two trips on our own time. Weird bathtub. You return home to freshen up. When you enter your bathroom, however, you discover that your shower is missing. In its place is an old clawfoot tub. The whole thing feels surreal, but you take a step towards it, wondering how this is possible. Then... I don't remember how this one goes. Let's take a bath. Ah, uh, luck check. The bathtub sure is weird, but you feel extra refreshed. That's just simply plus one stamina. Uh... Yeah, we haven't taken... We haven't taken any damage to open the, uh, the old wounds. You notice the odd placement of ventilation shafts. They seem too small for anyone to crawl through, though. You hear wrestling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. Ooh, spooky. Hmm, this guy does damn the damage, and we cannot run away. Uh, let me double check. Yep, the invisible web prevents you from running from this encounter. Now, how do we win this as fast as possible? Um. Uh, I can't get two of those in. So I can deal eight damage guaranteed. This is. Mm. I guess it is faster to use attack boosts. I mean, technically. Or very slightly. Hmm. I could get. 290% 5 damage. So, uh, I think the math adds up. It's sus. Uh, there's an ICP member in front of you and you're saying sus? No, <laughs> uh, no, the guy's obviously from society. <laughs> Putting the sus in society. Uh, oh, well, here's our new injuries. Two torn muscles. Hmm. So, minus one damage in combat. 
badly bleeding, chance of losing minus one, uh, one stamina each investigation. Not as bad as losing one every time. And concussion, minus one knowledge until the end of the current mystery. Uh, yeah. oh, let's just go for it again. Uh, unless we have a guaranteed way of dealing damage. Should be better. Ah, uh, we're only dealing four now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Society. Yeah. Okay. That was rougher than it needed to be. And we get a baseball bat out of it, though. Uh, exact same stats, but slightly higher chance to hit. Nice. Uh, I'll probably sell the crowbar and immediately go to the hospital. Let's see. I, I, I can't handle these torn muscles. Discharge summary. Let's go. This one's discard plus 20 experience. So we, we got we got the trash ones before. That's that's why we got injuries again from that fight. The, I, th I think the stalker just normally does concussion. He's, he, he's, uh, he's slapping you on the head with a baseball bat. Hasty aid again. Ah. That's not what you want to see. Hmm. That's the most I've used the doctor's office in a run. And then it's probably going to keep going up. So, you should interview the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something the police missed. <laughs> Society. Prepare a bath. You think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. Uh, yeah. Your body clearly wasn't prepared for a cold bath, and you can feel a cold coming on. Minus two stamina. Hmm. One neighbor is complaining about her underwear missing. Oh, frick. Take a nap. So, now what? Vending machine. You walk through an empty corridor. You find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of soda inside, but you could really use a drink. Uh, eating the expensive one normally loses one fund, but I know, I, I'm pretty sure there's a, a separate outcome if you have zero funds. Uh, I'll take the risk on the cheapest one. A dex check. You buy a can of off-brand soda and take a sip. It tastes a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyways. I think, I think losing that you get like pricked in the finger. When you're, when you're picking it out. Second neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. Hmm. Oh, this is very sus. <laughs> okay, I can't believe this is just an Amogus before the, before the, uh, the Amogus. The Panty Raid? No, I'm investigating the Panty Raiders. Panty Raiders of the Lost Ark. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs suddenly trip but grab the railing in the last second when you get up to inspect what caused you to trip you freeze in terror wait i already read that ah. for frick twisted corpse again now this is this is the reason why i lost the last run uh wait yeah i can just do this no i want to hmm. figuring this out is a good idea so yeah there's, there's a mastermind sequence of thousand claps Hopefully, 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 hopefully it's good. Uh, because the the ending of uh, School Scissors does you don't need to have the sequence right, but the more moves you have right, the better. Uh, I mean, I should I'll have reason by the end of this. What you think? Uh, so the last one's a bow. Uh, three correct. So the last one's, second to last is a clap. And uh, clap. Wait. Frick. Ah, frick. 
Uh, uh. Okay, wish me luck. Correct, yes. Wait, what was it? Clap, bow, clap, clap, bow. Oh no, damn it. I didn't get it fast enough. Uh, uh. Damn. I have perished. Mm -hmm. I could I could have just smacked them with a baseball bat, but I wanted that sweet sweet bow clap combination. Eh. Well, anyways. Hmm. I mean, I already showed this off before, but I want to show it off again. <laughs> Get ready for something. Oh yeah, color palette's different because for some reason the settings keep, uh, keep resetting every time I finish a run. Uh, let's take, uh, take Mimi, I guess, for, for this short little adventure. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter which one I choose. Stats matter. Mystery almost doesn't matter. You now, what's this one? Alright, dog shop. First of all, you, you can do that. Yeah, pretty neat. But, uh, let's keep restocking. <laughs> Good morning, Spacer. Dog shop. Welcome. <laughs> uh, I, I showed this off before, but uh, this is a uh, this is something. Hmm. All right. Now around here, ninety percent maybe. Where is that dog? Suddenly, a pair of hairy hands reach out of the shop's window and violently pull you into the darkness. A week later, a new mysterious flavor of dog treats is released and becomes a huge hit among the dog shopkeepers. Now, now you'll think twice before buying from a dog. <laughs> Cause of death, minced and cooked. <laughs> is it possible to backseat me? Uh, yeah, I don't remember all of the all of the outcomes and the events in this one. But yeah, good morning, headless. It's so cute. It's based off a real story. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. But I, I don't think I don't think I don't think that's I don't think that last part is from the real store. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh. But yeah, nah, nah. I, I put the hours in on this. <laughs> on the, on the, on the, on the <laughs> that's what happens when you uh. Go shopping irresponsibly. Let's, let's just do a quick timeline A run. Uh, I'll, mm, I've got enough time to narrate everything, I guess. For well, one more run. Oh, I haven't played as Koji at all yet, so. Let's go for a cameraman. Photographer. So he's got extra perception, but less cr uh, dexterity. And he starts with the camera. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I never talked about the backgrounds, at least not for a while. Uh, not all of them, actually. Yeah, okay. So you do get to choose a, uh, a background to get an extra modifier. So the default one is just no effect. The uh, next one, medical history. You start with extra experience and bandages, but each time you take damage, there's a chance to get an injury. That is, is horrible. Uh, hunted by the cult. So solving mysteries reduces even more damage than normal, but you get more unique combat encounters. So that's, that's something. Seventh curse is kind of interesting. You start the playthrough with more funds, but you can't have any allies. So you, so you start with more money, but yeah, if you'd ever get an ally, 
then, then they just like instantly die off camera. Y you even get like a little like message in the text box about like how they died, like fell onto a truck or something. Ill-fated is interesting. Th this is like this is like the the run where you need the most meta knowledge because all skill checks are failed immediate like in, automatically. So you just have to know what the least bad outcome is. It's uh it, it's something I guess. And Knight Aaron is not as bad, but it's also very very meta. So you receive a major penalty each time you complete a mystery with a sub A ending. So if you don't get the best ending, you just get a uh it just sucks. You don't get any benefit for playing with that, it's it's just for style. Same with ill fated. Yeah, the, the only real choices are Seventh Curse, Hunted by the Cult, and World of Horror. But the other ones, <laughs> pick your flavor of pain. Yeah, the, I mean, there are unlocks for doing those. I think Night, no, Night Errant is an unlock for doing something stupid like... Yeah, let's, let's take Goizo <laughs> and do a real run. But yeah, no, I think ill-fated unlocks, like, completed an ill-fated run unlocks the, uh, the whatever. Not yet. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass. And the glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. Uh, yeah. Same dialogue there. So, camera. Plus one knowledge for having it equipped. And high quality lens, ready in the flash. A solid choice with an ample supply of film. Uh, I believe you get like an extra combat action. <laughs> I, I haven't played as Koji in a while. I forgot there was that little sound effect. That's neat. Uh, let's go to the occult shop again and. Maybe I'll have to use the monument. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, I, I believe you get an extra little option in combat. So let's go. Empty bottle. So, Legend of Zelda rules. Best item in the game. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should have picked Timeline B just for the Halloween costume. Hawaii. Leather Rebel. Chad. No other option. Uh, did I grab the money? And... So... Uh, I don't have anything... That I would need it for. But... Uh, when you take the bath at your house, you have the option to fill an empty bottle with, uh, with water. So now, you got a bottle with water, and you just use it for one stamina. But, you get to keep the bottle after you use it. You can throw an empty bottle for damage, or fill it with other stuff sometimes, depending on whatever event. But just having one extra stamina, like, for however many mysteries, is pretty good. Jura. <laughs> uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh. <laughs> It's the it's the healing tai chi equivalent of to karate, <laughs> as bottled water is to jirate. Um, but anyways, uh, botanist, arms, ramen, scissors, household pill. Ah, uh, this is timeline A. So, mm. ooh, we're gonna get something spicy. So we'll, we'll do arms. Uh, dialogue is the same as it was before, so I'll speed through it. But, so for completing the Timeline A version, the, the regular version, you do get a, uh, you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and you quickly, uh, and quickly apologizes. Success. They stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing in the crowd. Nice. So you get, uh, an item called small key. Good eye. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
had him when I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, grab people's arms and maybe they'll drop wallets and it might be your wallet. Uh, here's Junji Ito, by the way. <laughs> it's, just, it's just Junji Ito. Uh, Mr. Ito, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. <laughs> but, but, yeah, uh... Hmm... Picture wa. Uh, well... Hmm... I think sharing your ex experience, you lose some XP and gain some funds. That part on the computer. <laughs> no. Was that fine? What is that picture? Okay. I have to now. Perhaps you, you catch a glimpse of the painted thing. Suddenly, you feel very weak and excuse yourself to leave. Something truly evil has you in its grasp. So now it, it was it was uh it was lewd drawings on the desk. So now we've got our STE meter at one. <laughs> His waifu. Uh, there's a mod for that. Wait. How would I know that? <laughs> uh. No, 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 no. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry. Uh. Let's go cheap. Ah, uh, another deck sec. Uh, deck, deck success. Paper. <laughs> uh. Uh. I barely looked into the modding community on this. But, eh. But, but, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, investigation is taking a toll on you. Was four percent doom again? <laughs> you heard nothing. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so uh, let's take a hot bath. I uh, just simply plus one percent doom. Yeah. And an hour. Uh, I should I should have bought a. Uh, Holy candle beforehand, just in case. Uh, and I do need a weapon. Oh, check out the hardware store. I didn't, I didn't set up shop. Uh, paper bag was playable. <laughs> what would my bonuses and penalties be? Hmm. I, I can't, I, I can't figure that out. <laughs> uh. Uh. Wait, no. Uh, I... Hmm... I mean... Ah, oh, good morning, Goran Wazim. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to... Welcome to World of Horror. Uh... I'll just buy a can of acid. A whole can of acid. Uh... We'll, we'll see what happens. Guys, I, I forgot. I, I... I will get a, uh, a weapon. Y you'll see. So... Ah, uh, the ghost again. <laughs> well, I will simply run away. So running away does give you doom. Yeah, 5% doom, which is a lot, but it's a little bit better than taking an incredible amount of damage. Nah. But yeah, th this game's neat. Uh, let's see. Raining blood. A woman jumps out of her apartment, covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower head started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Uh, see, I think this is knowledge or... Yeah. Ah. Off by one. You don't find anything. The smell of blood makes you weep. Secret <laughs> attack paper cut. What did you know? <laughs> Uh, a power Mac with a mud. Man, I I have any. I'm too I'm too young to know what a mud is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now this is like straight up two bit. Uh, the art is very good. All right. Uh. -huh. Uh, um, let me finish the side quest. Take another trip to the hospital. Mortuary blues. You find yourself in an, uh, old, an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary, where doctors determined the causes of it. Uh, maybe searching the cabin's free? I think this has a free option. Maybe the freezer. 
Ah, uh, now this is combat. You take a peek into the freezer, but you can't see anything important. You wonder what could smell so awful if there's nothing inside. Nearby, the body on the dissection table twitches slightly. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, this game is rad. It's, it's worth looking into. It looks interesting. Oh, the horror of countless autopsies stands before you. Jane Doe. Uh... Ooh, this is a ghost, so I can't use anything fancy. Uh, that's what that does. So, the the power stat is how much... Uh, the difference... Yeah, okay. Oh, I guess this is pretty well. The stat defines your chance to successfully attack the enemy. The higher power, the harder it will be. And it's based on your, your level as well, I believe. But yeah. Uh, well... I, I guess let's learn it. Use hyperbeam. <laughs> now we're gonna use a, uh, I don't know, some psychic move. I'm not a Pokemon expert. So, back to the bows and claps. Baraga. No. <laughs> Casting holy. So three were correct. Now four were correct. So the last one is a bow. There we go. Is the second to last one a bow? Okay, well, that was easy. I lost the last two runs to- Yeah, we, we, we uh, completed a, a UK version of defense. Oh, no. I know too much? Oh, shit. I'm getting clipped. Wait, I can't watch that on stream. Thanks. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. What is that picture? Okay. I have to now. Perhaps you, you catch a glimpse of the painted thing. Suddenly, you feel very weak and oh, excuse wow. yourself to leave. I guess the mic quality is a lot better than it used to be. <laughs> so now it, it was, it was, uh... My wife here. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I gotta, I gotta cut it before it, uh... Before you guys know too much. <laughs> Anatomical Museum Archive displays a specimen with elongated arms and jellified bones. So this is the dude we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, check the building plan. I don't think I got to read all of these before I, I died. Find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who has been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how did this envelope end up in your bedroom? So, money, but at what cost? Oh, now we're <laughs> now we're not looking too good. Despite being of the Chad outfit, we are uh, not having a good time. Every room is connected by vents coming from an the unused boiler room. Could it be target location? You enter the dark boiler room and trip over the pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. The long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. Uh oh. Spooky. <laughs> you almost fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of the dead pervert. His elongated limbs stretching and disappearing into the vent's darkness. Inside his mouth, you find a tiny key. Yeah, as you do, you, you just look in, look in the mouth of dead people. After the police have arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, the detectives found the body of a man stuck in the ventilation shaft. Later, he's identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeur photos, photos of the tenants. You are questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of an unfortunate gas leak. So, don't be a pervert or you'll die. <laughs> so we got the, the tiny key, which I will use instantly. Oh, time, time to take a bath. F. I don't, I don't know if that dude deserves an F. <laughs> then, oh, yeah. F for poor behavior. He's being graded. <laughs> uh, unless... Unless you relate to him. <laughs> uh, wise words. Uh, 
And, uh, um, <laughs> no voyeur photos. <laughs> Don't do that. So, here's the, here's the power of the tiny key. Spine chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the whitest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. You can send her where she belongs, claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? So on the, uh... Yeah, this is surprisingly an urban legend ghost. Uh, somehow surprisingly. <laughs> ah. Uh, the, the Timeline B version, at the end, you put in, uh, bows and claps, and it, you, like, take damage for each incorrect one you get. It's something. And then there's a boss fight as well, so doing that, doing this mission last is usually a good idea. Just in case you can get the bow and clap sequence correct, like, beforehand. But this isn't timeline B. But we got the t we got the sequence already. Yeah, that's it's that's what happens. So your missing friend has left you a notebook. The rumors are true. To stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. <laughs> Large brain tap. Nah. Uh, I I I burnt through this game very quickly. So it's still stuck in my brain. Accomplishing this requires first the drawings of an Eldritch Sigil and the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. So, school lockers. There we go. This is the one that's normally locked. Yeah, now I need a tiny key to open it again. Whatever. Sport rifle. Illicit firearm. Two-handed perception. Let's go. So... 3 damage, speed 100, chance to hit 90, ah, uh, But, damage when shot, 14. And it came with 2 bullets. So, it's, it's some, 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 sometimes the, the UI is a little funky. So here's your cigarette meter, and here's your bullet meter. <laughs> In case you were wondering. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the damage and speed and chance to hit is all for uh, melee attacks. But, damage when shot, you, you, there's a special action. For just firing the weapon. And in this one, baseball bat. Uh, more damage. Ah, same speed too. Hmm. Uh, I thought the sport rifle would have been a better weapon than it actually is. But having the option to just blast things away is always nice. Uh, I'll put the water bottle in storage for now. No, that might come in handy. I'll put this in storage. And... To get the diary. So... Maru's acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow, I will try to perform the ritual. The sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. So this is what we need. Oh, anything... Other pages seem irrelevant. I hope they're okay. Yeah. Alright, now just to explore the school for a, a couple rounds. Final base. You stand in the middle of a baseball field, built back when the school had a team. It's now slowly overgrowing, and students only go here to study or relax. Suddenly, something feels very wrong about this place, but you can't quite put the finger on it yet. There we go. Someone has drawn a weird occult symbol on the sand patch. You quickly erase it with a branch and instantly feel a wave of relief washing over you. Minus 2% doom is pretty good. I feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Another round of explore. The mog. Uh, we did this before. Uh, this time, we'll observe it. There we go. Sludgy vapors rise slowly upward, forming a perfect spiral. You back away from the window, surprised by this uh, curious phenomenon. 
Oh yeah, the spiral energy. <laughs> Rara, fight the power. Alright. Oh yeah, uh, each character has a set of specific perks. Extra XP bonus for completing a mystery might be okay. And as first, uh, first one. Quick thinking is always nice. Just because Dex is usually a weapon stat, but now I've got Perception. I'll, I'll try this out. I don't play as Koji, like, at all. And I, I guess I'll take extra Perception just to make my rifle better. Hmm. Maybe I'll get, like, a, a police gun or something. If I'm lucky. So, you found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. You must hurry and find it. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is a little fun thing. Peek outside. Oof. Spooky. <laughs> uh, oh, another round of exploration. On the roof, you find the girl your friend was talking about. In one hand, she holds a bag. In the other, a pair of bloody scissors. Maru, marked by the scissor lady. Ooh. Yeah, here's the the fire weapon option. And just fucking 14 damage. Uh hmm. But you, you do get a debuff if you fire a weapon for the rest of the mystery. Uh, uh four damage. 95% chance to hit, but massive time investment. Uh Maybe kicks are better. Nah. Uh, is he kicks an attack? Mm -hmm. She looks less scary. Oh no, this isn't. This isn't the. This isn't the scissor lady. This is like, Rocky, son of scissor lady. Uh, and now I can get two guaranteed three damages in for enough to kill. Easy. So, you found Blessed Chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best as you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. No, that's not the boss. <laughs> not yet. Uh, I don't, I don't, I think, I don't remember if it's a harder version of the boss if you get the ritual correct. Anyways, so there's the symbol, and now we need to get it correct. Uh, and then lines, was it? Yeah, now we can just, I don't know, put that back in storage. We're good now. Gonna call it a night. Okay, I have a good one. Uh, sleep tight and uh, dream of spooky Japanese horror games. <laughs> Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. First. Yeah. Uh, traumatized. Mine's 10% max reason. So, can't get rid of it, really. But, we're not anywhere near. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Yeah, um... Yeah, everything looks correct. You were stopped by a girl you hadn't seen in months. How could you? She died in an accident. Stalker girl. The, the weird thing about this enemy is that she's a vampire. There's like two or three vampires in the whole game. Don't know why. Uh, now let's see. I can deal seven damage. Hmm. Eh. <laughs> My own stalker. Oh no. Uh. Well, at least she looks excited. Uh. Hmm. So. Yandere Gia. Oh no. Girls are scary. <laughs> Alright, boost that. I, I can deal 7 damage, bring her down to 12, and then I can do uh, 2 rounds of higher chances of uh, whatever. Yeah, so now I can deal damage in bursts of 6 at 100% chance. There we go. Wait, oh shit, she heals. Cute haha -ha face. Uh, you, you guys are seeing these dangerous waifus, and you're just you're just going nuts. 
<laughs> Adorax Yandere girl touching your face all over. Stop trying to <laughs> stop. Uh, you're doing you're doing too good of a job of selling me on it. Oh, this one's just easy. Minus three percent doom. Simple. And you found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. That's the only option. Wait, what's that? There she is. Oh, you guys might go nuts over this one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Paper bag, where's the bag? Because of Yandere Gia. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> uh. You take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Ah, my beautiful. Haha. And there she, there she is. Hmm, 21 HP and minus 2 to all. I mean, I could just double blast. Uh, uh, hmm. 14 damage, is it 21? I could, if I get a uh, 4 and triplets. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> uh, I could do that. Uh, hopefully that is both hit. Okay, now she's down to 14. And now I can just fire. Here's the power of gun. Oh yeah, here's here's the uh, here's the interesting thing though. So whenever you fire a weapon, you get the ringing ears. Oh, it's, it's a mental curse. Uh, all combat actions are slower until the end of the current mystery. But you've got an option. To prick it with a needle to get rid of it, which is a uh, minus stamina. But you get rid of it for for uh, until you fire again. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend gravely wounded, but alive. It's not how you get rid of bringing ears. Oh, it works for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him, and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Uh, and you may. Easy. This our woman is gone for good. Or is it? You shudder, knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon the eldritch being. So you use gun at end of mystery? Yeah. I have ears? <laughs> uh... I'll neither confirm nor deny any allegations. <laughs> ah, this one's nice. It just simply does nothing other than one aesthetic. Just permanently gets rid of them. Yeah. Yeah, no, using the gun at like a boss fight at the end of the mystery is usually the best option. Because, let's see, where, where is it? Status. Yep. It is gone now. And now, got the option for another level up. Improvise. Thrown items do more damage. I can go strat. No! Additional inventory slot or art knowledge. Plus perception. And I'll take another plus perception. Uh. Maybe maybe I'll take plus reason. I'm not looking too hot with, the, with those uh, under eye bags. There we go. Nice. Looking happy. But yeah, most perks, especially like the uh, the generic ones, will usually have a... Uh, th there'll be a couple events, like one or two, where you get a, a better option for having it. Ooh, time to uh, drink up. Take a bath. Fill it. And... Let's see. Extra reason. So... That's the true power. Alright, now, three more mysteries. Rancid Ramen. Side quest for that is discarding items. 
Uh, and there's no boss or anything, so that's easy. Oh yeah, now, now we've only got one more bullet left, so... I'll have to use that on the next one. Horrible History of Household Hell. Um, it's kinda got a boss fight. Botanist kinda has a boss fight. Uh, uh, let's see, I have a... Uh, does a camera count as a light source? It does not. Hmm. I'll do this one first. Your neighbor asked you to help. Her husband, Shiro-san, has gone missing. She is worried it might be connected with the new fertilizer he ordered from Tokyo. What is he doing and where is he? You've got a business card of a gardening company where the missing man was working. Maybe some of his colleagues could tell you anything useful? Alright, so let's go. Hmm. Gruesome altar. The call the police is, uh, maybe researching would be a good idea. Knowledge check. Okay. The notes that lie nearby tell of ancient civilizations and unspeakable horror. You've managed to learn an incantation, but the horrifying image will stay with you for a long time. I said this before, but spells are kind of trash, but... Ooh, this is, this is kind of interesting. So, plus two reason, but at a cost of 10 XP. That's that's not too bad actually, but it, it, whenever you forget a spell, you get one reason back. So that's a net zero, and eh, whatever. That's not that's, wasn't a bad outcome. Shirosan has always been a weirdo, but he was a he was good at what he did. Last month, he ordered a package of an experimental fun fungicide from Tokyo. I think I've seen the dispatch order with address somewhere. The old man says. Help me move this dirt, and I'll look for it. So... Onward. Old friend? Uh, I'll chat with her this time. Charisma check. Failure? Oh yeah, a failure is plus reason, and a success, I believe, is like... Minus doom, minus reason? It's certainly nice to meet an old friend after so many years, but you don't learn anything important. That's nice. Well, uh, while the dispatch order is stained with a foul-smelling liquid, you think you can make out the address. At least parts of it. The house is somewhere in the nearby forest. Uh, I think this takes you to a, uh, a little closed-off section. So, I'll investigate the school. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at it directly. Goizo is getting closer. So this is, uh... This is old god specific. Uh, let's see what the curse was. Stalker. Someone is following you. Uh, we got another, boys. <laughs> uh, and one more for the side quest. Non Euclidean 101. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Too spooky. How is this possible? A new yet undefined species of the cordyceps fungus has been observed to infect rats, taking over their bodies. Could it have the same effect with other mammals? Ooh. Eat. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. So where the hell did those fishermen go? Uh... The smell of the dish almost makes you sick, and you run out of the ghastly restaurant. Minus one stamina. I think that's a strength check, and uh, this dude's a little too, uh, a little too, uh, rubber hose arm. Agents of Goizo. You try to avoid mirrors, afraid of what could be waiting for you on the other side. Simple minus one reason. You, st you stumble upon a half-eaten deer carcass. Interesting. <laughs> campsite. You discover an old campsite located at the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down, and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Let's see. Search the tent is a luck check, I believe. Oh, this should be perception. Yeah. Footprints and tracks suggest a fight. The owner of the tent must have been dragged by two unknown attackers into the woods. Temple plus XP. Yeah. 
Hmm. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees and, by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? Oh, this one is a special camera action, so if I didn't have the camera, I wouldn't have this available. You take a picture of the carvings to compare them to various sources at home. Just simply plus experience. The row you've been following suddenly ends. You have to go back. Alright. You discover a giant plush toy half buried in a ditch. Feeling uneasy, you take a step back, but it's already too late. Dream Eater. Oh, this guy's spooky. Uh, 15 HP, minus 2 to all. Eh. Hmm. I can fit. I can do a 100% chance of 7 damage. Hmm. Hmm. Or was it eight damage? Two nineties and an eighty. Let's uh not break. Let's just do uh hundred percent chances. Because those are at ninety and we can add a plus ten for only ten. Oof. Did not looking too hot. Okay. Guaranteed. Easy as pie. No, we're, we're, we're a little beat up. This dirt road looks promising, but it branches in two different directions. Which is the correct one? Walking through the woods, you discover a sweater. It's torn apart and covered in blood. But where is the owner? The wild beast must have killed this poor person. You say a quick prayer before continuing. Ah, damn, now we're only at four reason. Hmm. Worst case scenario, I use the holy candle. Parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Ah, knowledge check failure. Ah, oh, frick. The bark is flabby and sticky. It makes you recoil in horror. Minus two reason. Not again. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yusagi. Hey kiddo, says the priest, who's currently moving some boxes in and out of the church building. Could you lend me a hand? Uh, what's, 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 uh, eh. the smiling face for? <laughs> no, you're scaring me. <laughs> uh, take it easy. You only pick up the smallest boxes, but the whole thing takes more time than you expected. Afterwards, Father Yusagi invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and home-baked cookies made by one of the uh, parishioners. You explain this, your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all of your doubts and anxiety. Plus 2% doom for taking so long, but plus 2 reason. We did it. Back. By reason. On the edge. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, no, no, now we're there. Finally, after what felt like hours of following the dirt road, you find the old mansion. It's completely overgrown with plants you've never seen before. In front of the company minivan filled with boxes. Slowly, you enter the building with caution. Stand in the middle of the room when suddenly the floor gives uh, gives up and you fall down into the into the basement. Gives up. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that thing goes down. Following, uh, falling through the hole into the floor, you find yourself in an overgrown basement. In the corner lies a man you recognize. It's Shiro-san, the missing gardener. You must help him escape this cursed place. Uh, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna... Uh... Do, uh, do the bare minimum and let him die. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks for the raid, Mather <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> good morning, uh, Glyphshev, Rikair, uh, Rin, Daishima, Thyorion, Lapis, and Mabes. <laughs> and there he is, Mao, the, Mao himself. Yeah. Who, who let the dudes out? <laughs> Uh, well, welcome to World of Horror. Yeah, this is basically a reading stream. And, uh, we're, we're letting this poor gardener die. 
because he's unfortunately infected by mushrooms. Hmm. It's, uh, it's something. <laughs> uh, vines whip you, covering your exposed skin in deep lacerations. You cry in pain, dropping the body of Shirosan. There's no way you'll be able to save him. With heavy heart, you run, leaving the man you were supposed to protect behind. <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. No. A meeting of the dogs. <laughs> uh, now, let's see. I guess folklore studies might be the best option here. And, uh, even more into perception. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh yeah, Mal- Forgot, Mal, uh... Mal turned a, a human into dog treats, live on stream. <laughs> uh, so we got Arcane Storm as the uh, town status. Uh, Aurora-like event. Reason cost of all spells is increased, and that does not bother me one bit. Alright. Take a sip of the bath water, and take a cold bath. <laughs> uh, now, rancid ramen or household hell water. Uh, yeah, Japanese uh, amateur photographer bath water. Truly a uh, an acquired taste. <laughs> uh, all right. Horrible history of household hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Blank Manor is one of them. It's vintage. Uh, uh, yeah, from 1984 as well. <laughs> Supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But is it the only tragic event that took place there? Hmm. Friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. There we go. <laughs> uh, uh, substitute teacher. Oof. All woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Uh, she seems nice. Luck check success. <laughs> El Jendifet. Uh, <laughs> I need to, I need to watch through, uh, Death Note. I've seen the first, uh, handful of episodes and they're very good. A creepy substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Plus XP. The building was supposed to be somewhere near the cliffs. You copy the mansion's photo from the newspaper and prepare to leave. Let's do the, uh, I believe this does not take us to the seaside, so I will do the, uh, I'll do the side quest now. Alright, crime scene. Stop. This is a crime scene. You are halted by a sweaty police officer. Behind them, two other policemen are packing something in black bags. Uh, this might be a perception check. Nice. We've got a massive perception. You notice something weird. All officers. Who are they, and what are they really doing here? It's a reverse and tarot bang. That's some trivia for you. <laughs> cool air suddenly fills your mouth. It tastes metallic. Before you can react, you hear a low growling sound coming from behind you. Meow. Another cat. Uh, let's see. Two reason damage is not nice. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I can, uh, I can kill it in two turns. Yeah. Hundred percent chances on the attacks are nice. You've learned the cliff the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You've dedicate. Er, you've decided to rent some books that might help you. Ah, oh, I forgot. Here, here's the thing about the side quest: is you need two empty uh, inventory slots. Temp points destroyed. Uh, uh, 
I've never met a cat boy in real life, so I think I'm good. <laughs> I I'm safe to do that. One house owner, however, decided to make use of the cave tunnel. It's a natural concept, all he claims. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this one without doing the MDNA because. Eh. Uh, reasons. <laughs> uh, I don't wanna have to buy a flashlight. An article covers a group of scientists from Tokyo that were exploring and mapping weird cave formations found in the cliffs. The search of the missing team of scientists continues. The only clue so far is a code written on a cavern wall. 415 Hertz. Ah, uh, you know what? Nah, let's let's do it. Heavy duty flashlight. Uh, might even be a better weapon. Radio frequency. Yeah. Uh, only cost two funds. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's uh let's put away the sport rifle for now. Hmm. Yeah, we've got enough knowledge to make that worthwhile. So yeah, the flashlight does count as a light source. Anything? No. Let's see, so many of the cliffs. Yeah. Continue the main investigation. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty. Yes, this is exactly what I need. You shudder, seeing the, seeing the weird woman reaching to her pocket and grabbing a nasty looking knife. Pretty face, mind if I borrow it? Oh no. Aspiring model. We, we got an idol here. <laughs> uh, so I think the flashlight is faster and does more damage than the, the rifle in melee. So, well... Hmm. Um, violent. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 22 HP. I can deal 12 damage, maybe? Oh, let's, let's see. <laughs> and, uh... That's what she looks like. She roars in rage. So now she does 6 damage. And, uh, yeah. I don't want to die. Oh, I missed! Okay. Damn. So, now I'll just use a guaranteed attack. But yeah, she's uh, she's got a, a face only a, a mother could love underneath that. Bablina. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, lucky earrings. Simply plus two luck. And slot C, which was empty. Yeah, good thing we've got the, uh, the bottled water. Might as well drink it now. Frick, I was right. Or, I was wrong, I was right. So this one does take you to the seaside on the main investigation. Comparing different mansions with the sketch, you finally find the one. There's only one problem. You will need a strong rope to enter the mansion through the high window. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take a rest or two. Because our stats are low enough. Eh, plus 5% doom is nasty. So... Let's go. Uh, I think this will take us to a, uh, a little closed off location. No, bad feeling. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Threat level increases. Uh, here we go. You make it through the window. This is the abandoned mansion your friends have talked about. Let's explore it. With, uh, gusto, apparently. Old trail. Following a uh, suspicious person, you enter an old, rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Let's search. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you do find. Okay, <laughs> just an expired energy drink. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's put that in storage. Don't drink strange things. You heard a weird noise coming from the locked study. You must find a key. Lost. Mansion. The room layout of this place doesn't make any sense. You've been trying to leave this mansion, but each door leads to the same musty hallway. You start to panic, trying to find a solution. Monster energy sponsored. Hey, uh, keep on keeping on and all that, that stranding stuff. <laughs> Ah, luck check failure. You panic and begin to run through the doors. 
each time ending up in the same musty corridor. Eventually you collapse, exhausted and terrified. When you get up an hour later, you spot a tiny door you missed. It leads you to the main hall. Oh, we're kind of low on stamina now. Didn't expect that after the after my reason going down to like two. Uh, this must be the place where the key is. But yeah, now we just gotta keep going through the rooms. Corpses are strung up on the wire. The macabre marionettes. Uh, jolly old time. I should have rested another time. Damn. <laughs> uh. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs uh, sticking out of a bush. No. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. Man-eating plant. Let's take the uh, discretion as the better part of Valor and all that and run away. So running does give you 5% doom, which is uh, a bit nasty. <laughs> nice legs. Uh, you guys are insane. <laughs> uh, anything, anything, anything is enough. Horn dogs. Desperate solution. A woman bumps into you as she runs away from a beauty parlor. Before she, you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If I can't see it, she cries. It can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint reflection of Goizo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. Minus two stamp. Paper or plastic? What do you mean? What are you talking about? No. <laughs> you can't just ask someone that. <laughs> uh, paper, obviously. Frick. Uh, fight this feeling. Prisma check failure. Frick. Y you don't have the strength to move a finger. The blinding light is growing larger and larger to your shock. You can't feel the ground under your feet. Minus one reason. And lost in time and space. You drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Hmm. Oh, oh. Frick. We might get the, uh, we might get the katana. Parasitic stars looming over the dying civilization. Is this the fate of our planet as well? Yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, paper bags. Obviously. <laughs> Perception check success. Let's go. Inside a decaying nave, you find a keepsake from the ancient world. There's a humanoid skeleton wearing ruined armor. Its weapon looks strangely familiar. There it is. The katana. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I'll put the bottle in storage. Plastic bag would be a choking hazard. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Whatever. Uh, twisted reflection. Yes, sir. <laughs> Superior, folded, uh, otherworldly steel. <laughs> In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Plus 2% doom. <laughs> but yeah, 9 damage. We are doing like 3 damage with the, with the rifle, just hitting people. A bullet does, like, 14 damage. So, 9 damage is pretty high up there. Uh, level up. Uh, we don't have very good dexterity though. Uh, I might as well put points in and get some stamina. So quick thinking does allow for some uh, some better options. Oh, you're out partying. Pap was studying the blade. You know. It. <laughs> uh, leadership. Uh, I don't even remember what events need that. Of course, I'll, I'll go with uh, the dexterity and the stamina increase. I do think I need the uh, flashlight equipped. There we go. Here we are, study room. You aren't sure what to expect. The sturdy door to the study opens with a creak. The dark, dusty room is empty, but something feels wrong. A faint draft, perhaps. You move the rotten carpet aside to reveal a secret passageway cut directly into the cliff rock. Following a strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads you to an underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade. Mesmerized, you step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. Explore some more. So normally you wouldn't be able to, I believe? Uh, no, this would just be like a dark area, but we've got a light source. 
You follow a winding corridor until you stumble upon something really strange. Someone has set up a series of vintage looking speakers all connected to a single unit. The speakers must be the source of the sounds. You see a knob allowing for you to change its frequency. Oh, there we are. Not a radio frequency, it's just a frequency frequency. Oh, frick. Uh, it was 415, I think. I meant, to, I meant to inspect it. I meant to inspect it. I just put it away. Uh, uh, well. I hope that was correct. Acoustics of the underground caves make the waves and the machine tone create a ghastly melody, shaking you to the bone. As you move closer to the stone altar, you scream in terror. Uh, good morning, Congo. <laughs> Welcome. I did get the katana again. No. <laughs> As you move closer to the stone altar, you scream in terror. You are not the only one charmed by the sounds. Oh no, you're late. Katana happened a little, little bit ago. <laughs> the cursed chants amplified by the cave system makes you dizzy. To your horror, you notice the sound has awakened something else. Oteru. Oteru? Inner coil. Uh, this guy's a little spooky or something. Aw, oh, frick. Hmm. Let's hope the katana gets me through this. No, it won't. Uh, Uzumaki. Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Uh, you are not even able to attack it. Uh, let's see. Where's the action that I want? Hmm. I don't know. And I hope I'm able to run away. Uh, the, the normal course of action, I think, is to sacrifice an ally. But, there we go. Almost tripping over the countless human bones, you decide to run from the cave. So, the funny thing is, you can actually defeat that, like, with guns and thrown weapons. But, it just gives you a, a, a generic ending. As if you, uh, stood there for too many turns or something. The haunting melody continues to follow you as Otaru begins its reign of terror in the waters surrounding Shiokawa. That was ending B. Damn. Yeah, if you have an ally, you sacrifice. You sacrifice them. Cold blooded. Yeah, just. I think running is the least cold blooded thing, I guess. Com compared to just sacking someone. The unholy chant coming from the caves connected with the mansion must have driven the family insane. Awaking Otaru almost made you share their fate. You decided to run, afraid of the dire consequences. The inner coil always gets its victim, and the fisherman looks so tasty. So, yeah. Eh, things didn't turn out too well. There we go. Contaminated water. Not good. Not good at all. I was hoping for that little health boost. But... This is the last one, I believe. Yeah. Rotten Report of Rancid Ramen. No boss fights, so everything should be simple. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki. I think it's... I think it's all connected. <laughs> you are determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> Believe it! Yeah, it's MSG. Isn't MSG like... <laughs> no. Isn't MSG like not actually that bad for you? Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street, the feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. So, it isn't. It was vilified for no real reason. Eh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, and we weren't able to use the empty bottle at all because it was a little bit too, uh, water's a little bit too spicy. So, Discarding two items. Yeah. Boom. Ah, uh, now I do want the energy drink. 
could overuse any seasoning. Hmm. No. I will. <laughs> uh, tomatoes. Hmm. Weird. I'll, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to extract the MSG from tomatoes so it makes people feel better. <laughs> you sneak into the alley at the dead of night, gagging. You look inside the restaurant waste. It's a vile pulp. A few chunks of meat look like promising samples, though. So smelly meat. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, let's use the energy drink, so our katana will be more powerful. Yeah, I guess we'll keep the flashlight. So we got the side quest done, or maybe seaweed? Probably seaweed as well. Hmm. But yeah, now nah, you should you should overuse garlic and butter and uh, and salt. No, not salt. You can ruin stuff with salt super easily. You hear a rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. Oh, stalker. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, I can, I can kill it in two turns. Sus is back. Uh, frick. Sus. <laughs> Uh, oh, and we do get a concussion from getting brained with a baseball bat. Did we get a bat baseball bat? Get him with the sword. Yeah. <laughs> He's been got. Yeah. Uh, might as well sell it. So, now I should take a nap or two. Yeah. Almost 5% doom is a lot. Uh... What do I have in storage? N nothing fun. Eh. Right. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter nor leave. Hmm. No breaks. <laughs> uh, he's the real lord and savior. The day of Portland is coming. Uh, let's take a listen. Minus reason, but minus doom? Yeah. You learn some useful bits of information about your nemesis, however, if everything the man said was the truth. <laughs> you can just sell weapons you used on people. Uh... And yeah, you just wash it off. Now, there are illicit weapons, like guns, that you cannot sell. So, I'll, I'll take that doom decrease and just... turn it. Uh, it's basically like... Minus three reason for minus one reason for one stamina. If you look at it that way, the only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. But yeah, now you, you can't just sell guns in Japan. That's too much. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Uh, luck check. Oh, something truly evil. I forgot. What's that? You've attracted the attention of something truly evil. I forgot I did that at the start of the run. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, it seems you're not the only one wanting to try for yourself. You stand in line for hours, your questions fall on deaf ears, and you're shunned. A little bit more tea. Ah, here's the other holy candle event. They say a ghost of a heartbroken boy appears on this street at night. Is it just an urban legend, or is there some truth to this tale? So, light it. Not wanting to waste more time, you decide to light a holy candle, hoping to bring the ghost to rest. Minus 3% doom. 10 out of 10. Oh, I didn't read the... and eh, whatever. Dream man. In the morning, you usually only remember glimpses of your dreams. You know two things. First, they are always both terrifying and inescapable. Second, the man from your nightmares is standing on the other side of the street looking for you. Alright, let's uh... Oh, is this charisma? Perception, let's go. Alright, getting closer, you decide the man doesn't really remind you of the person from your nightmares. Feel good about confronting your fears, plus one reason. Nice. It's finally your turn to order. 
One ramen, please. The owner's grin widens. Okay. That is my dream, man. <laughs> no. Uh, ah, this one's neat. World of terror. Uh, through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? And then, with that quick thinking perk, we get this option. To just ask. Before pursuing the man, you ask the waiter if they know him. The waiter smiles and explains that the man is a part of a tabletop role-playing community. You think I'm slightly embarrassed. So, hey, this, this event is kind of neat because he's just some greasy nerd. And he just looks like a like some sort of cult member or something. The Red Bull is pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. Nerds are weirdos. Uh, let me let you in on a secret that is, in fact, correct. <laughs> uh. Alright. Uh, oh, here's the, uh, the eyeless woman again. <laughs> uh, welcome. Welcome to the Nerd Weirdo Club. Uh, with a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. And, just take it to the lab. Lab results. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Vial and meat. You look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While the standard test didn't detect anything weird, adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. <laughs> Depends on whether the nerds worship Elder Gods. Uh, yeah, people will do anything to get better rolls on their d20s. Like e e anything superstitious. It's it's a. Uh, don't trust them. Don't trust nerds. <laughs> Your friend leaves you with the papers, muttering an excuse and preparing to flee town on the next train. Prepared for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find no eldritch horror at the duel. Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers, still lining up where they remember the entrance. The meat. Mancus. <laughs> Just MTG, yeah. Worshipping Yog sothoth Uh. Sus. No. <laughs> uh. And there we are. One final level up. I guess I'll take. Uh, outdoorsman. Just for fun. Uh, and, uh... Hmm. I think more strength is actually correct. Well, because in the final area, you, uh... There's, there's a bunch of skill checks. And it's not, it's not a roll, it's just, it just checks if you have eight. So, uh, basically I'm a min-maxing gamer. Alright. So, that should be everything. Uh, wh what do I have in storage? Hmm, I'll take the can of acid, just in case. No. And the rifle. Okay. Let's go, lighthouse. We here. Enter. You finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things. That whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place and that you should run as far as you can. You're afraid. There won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. So, he can rest. Uh, I'll, I'll rest a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, 81% should be fine. Let's... Uh, as they say in the business, let's go. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped. Wait a minute. Someone has been taking your photos. They focused on the enemies you fought with. There's something wrong, but you can't precisely say what. Select the enemy you fought as the second one. Mm -mm. Stalker girl? 
Wrong answer. No. Your head starts to hurt. Is everything you is everything just something you've imagined? Photos suddenly disappear. So does the door, allowing you to continue. Frick. Climbing up the winding staircase, you're stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, kiddo, he says, taking the jacket and the mask off. Nothing personnel, really. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's just kick his ass. Uh, and do what? 18 damage in one turn? Uh, now we're up to 90% doom, so... Everything else better go correctly. Following the winding staircase, wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all clues and newspaper clippings, and pinned them here. The more you study them, you discover you can't remember any of them, except one. Second one? Did <laughs> it kill Beat Takeshi? I uh, did not teleport behind me. But, he would have been could have. Alarming arms was first, school scissors directly afterwards for the sport rifle. You rip the newspaper clipping of a case you seem to remember. Underneath it is a tiny button. You press it and the buzz of the gate opens. <laughs> good luck, you're out of batteries. I'm, I'm like at the end, but yeah, good night. <laughs> Don't choke on this one or I might actually lose the run. Yeah, let's go. We did it. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. Yeah, yeah, good night, Karagi. Uh, a cable that should be powered that is currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird, moist goo. Just inhaling the fumes makes your eyes itch and water, but the power of the gate, you'll need to disconnect a faulty plug. 1% hope you move. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> uh... <laughs> there we go. Strength check success. Weird goo burns your fingers, but you quickly manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable. With a buzz, the gate opens. Yeah, we, we're what, level 7? Yeah. Uh... Uh, I guess I can bring my charisma up. Wait, ah, oh, shit, I should've checked what it was. Following the winding staircase, you're stopped by a metal gate. The tiny page ma nailed to the gate explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods. Using your own body as a natural conductor, you will power up the gate. Uh -huh. Let's check fast. You are about to grab the rods when you notice the dials and buttons. You toy with them for a bit before adjusting both voltage and current so it's safe for you to grab them. With a buzz, the gate opens. And there we are. Did I arrive too late? No. We did it. <laughs> As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. Well played. Hell yeah. <laughs> the next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening the Eldritch Old God, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. It, that's me! <laughs> uh, there we go. Now, GG easy. Hell yeah. Okay, well. Unfortunately, that's the that's the last one for tonight. All right, who's online? Uh, Bakamita is back with the near replicant. Uh, let's see. All right, yeah, let's. I, I need more people on it this time on my follow list. Uh, well, here we are. But yeah, thank you for showing up, everyone, and thank you for having a good time. I'm not asking if you had a good time. I'm telling you. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Even you only have two? Weakling. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>